all right so let's start with the default queue and in here you can just change this timeline to geometry node editor now with this cube selected click on new this creates a new geometry node shift a to search and go to points distribute point on faces now just plug the geometry to mesh and points to geometry and you can see points are distributed over the geometry but to see the original geometry just add another node that is join geometry now plug the original geometry output and the points output in this node and the geometry to final group output all right so now let's distribute some objects onto these points and the objects that i'm using are from my own stylized nature pack so this is a nature pack low poly that i have created earlier and this is available to download on my sketchfab account i'll put a link in the description you can download this pack and i will also put a link to download this original blend file so you can try out these nodes yourself all right so let's start with the simple grass object so this is the grass and now to use it inside our node editor just press shift a search for object and in object click on the grass you can also just click and drag from the collection inside the node editor now we need instancer so shift a go to instance and instance on points okay so now let's just join this geometry so now i don't want these points to be shown here so i'll just control right click drag to cut this connection and just plug this point to instance point and this instance to geometry and now this geometry to this instance so you can see now our grass geometry is instanced on these points okay so now comes the fun part i just want to distribute this grass on the horizontal faces not these vertical faces and i'm going to use the z normal for that so let me show you what i mean with by that if i add a plane and go to edit mode and from this overlays you can turn on normals so this is face normal so you can see this is a completely horizontal face so for this the normal line is completely vertical so this is 1 the value of normal in z direction for this face is 1 but if i extrude this edge so for this face this normal is horizontal so the value of z normal for this face is 0 and if i move it or rotate it you can see it is going perpendicular to the face and the value of the normal is changing so suppose this is 45 degree this is maybe 70 degree and this is again 90 degree so it goes from 1 to 0 this is 1 this may be 0.5 this may be 0.2 and then this is 0 and we are going to use these normal values to distribute our grass on the face all right so in node editor just add a normal and now i want the normal of z so i'll add another separate node so separate xyz and then i want to add this z value to the selection of distribute point on face node so i'll again search for a combine node that is combine xyz so now plug the normal into vector so i separated xyz here now i only want z and this vector will go to the selection so now you can see the grass is only 
distributed on Z. So on this face and on the bottom face as well, because in the closed object, this face is pointing upwards as well as this face. But this is a negative Z value for normal and this is a positive Z value. So now we'll use a math node. So again, shift A, search for math. And here I'll just select greater than and I can just add 0.9. So whatever face is extremely horizontal, only that face will get the grass. Okay, so now you can play with this value. So let me just edit it and delete all the faces and shift A, add another face. So this plane is just horizontal. So the grass is added. But if I edit it and extrude this edge, you can see no grass is added here because it's less than 0.9 value. Let me turn off this normal. But if I just rotate it or bring it down, you can see at the value of 0.1, the grass appears. So here you can set whichever value you want. So suppose I want when the face is at 45 degree, I want the grass to be there. So I can just reduce this threshold value until the grass appears. And now let's distribute some rocks. So again, I'm using the rocks from the low poly asset pack. Here is the rock collection. These are simple low poly rocks. And I have taken five or six of these and I have put them into a separate collection named rock. So this time we are going to distribute this collection. All right, so let's copy this uh, grass node setup. So select it and shift D and delete this object info node and shift A search for the collection info. So this is the collection info node and in this we are going to use the rocks and again plug this geometry to the instance. This group input geometry will go to the mesh and finally this instance to point will plug into join geometry. So we can't see our rocks instanced uh, because right now those are instanced on their original position. So when we are using the collection info, just check both these points and also this uh, pick instance so that individual rock is instanced. And right now the scale is too much in comparison to our uh, grass. So I'll just select these, check the individual origin and just scale these down. And now control A and apply the scale. So now you can see as we have copied the same grass setup, these rocks are also instanced on the Z value that is more than 0.6. So we can just simply come into this math node and change it to less than. So now this is just growing on these vertical faces. All right, so we are pretty much done. Uh, all that is left now is to just randomize these uh, instances uh, in rotation and in scale. So let's start with the rocks. So first of all, in this uh, distribute point on faces, you can just select this uh, distribution from random to poison disk. And in poison disk, you get all these options and you can really control the uh, density And now let's change the scale. So for scale, we need to change this scale value here. So you can randomize it directly from here, but uh, to get a proper control, you can just use the random value node. So just insert this random value, plug this into scale. And in this random value, you can have the vector so that you have individual control over x, y and z values. 
So now you can select the XYZ minimum and maximum. So let's say we just want to change it more in the Z direction and less in X and Y. So for X and Y, the minimum, let's say we put 0.8 and maximum 1. But for Z, let's put the minimum to be about 0.3 and maximum to be 1. So there's much more variation in Z rather than X and Y. Now let's come to the rotation and rotation also you can just directly change it from here. But as we are uh, instancing these points on a three dimensional face. So right now we need the normal of these faces to control the rotation. So we can just plug this rotation into rotation. So now the origin is normalized against this face to rotate and we can also add a normalization for the rotation so just search for Euler rotation and just plug it between the rotation of points and now in this make it local and you can play with the value but I have checked and I found that uh, X value of minus 90 and a Y value of 180 works best in my case. So now the rotation is pretty randomized. Alright, so let's quickly create a material for this base. So just select it, go to shading and let me create a new material. And this is also simply using the geometry node. So search for geometry. And again, we'll use the tangent. So separate X, Y, Z node. Plug the normal to vector and add a color ramp. Plug the Z to vector and now color to base color. So this black to white is distributed along the Z normal value. So the top is white, you can see. And these vertical faces are black. So we can just come here and select this white. Change it to the grass color, something like dark green. And this black color, change it to a rock color. So now if I just uh, disable the geometry node, you can see it is also distributed according to the normal. Alright, so now you can just add geometry on top of each other. So for example, if I want to distribute uh, these flowers uh, with the grass as well. So here I have taken these four flowers from the same nature pack. Let me just scale these down also apply the scale and I have put them in the flower collection so to add them I'll just copy this grass node shift D to duplicate it and again I don't need this object info rather I'll add a collection info and in the collection I'll choose flowers Check both of these, plug the geometry to instance and select pick instance. Also plug this node here and finally our instance into our main merging geometry. Alright so here it is my final setup. You can see. I have uh, just copied it again and again and I have added these uh, trees and flowers and rocks and now the beauty of this is that you can just edit this part as much as you like. So for example if I just delete all the faces and just add a icosphere so you can see if I scale it. Our geometry nodes will get applied according to our node setup. I can just select any face, extrude it. 
So because these geometry nodes are applied as a modifier, you can see it here. So you can just stack more modifiers on top of the objects and just add more geometry. So for example, this is a simple part that I have subdivided and I have added an array modifier with a Bezier curve and also a curve modifier. So now if I edit this Bezier curve, I can just edit this whole geometry. So if I extrude it and just tilt it, I can just create more geometry out of it. Alright, so this is how I have created this scene. So it's a pretty simple but really powerful geometry node setup. I am using the EV render engine here. So I'll try to make more videos about this uh, geometry node setup and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.